Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of Macro Now, set for released every Monday morning. Today is Monday, June 7, 2021. My name is Alexander Turo, Senior Market Strategist here at RJO Futures, where we contextualize the rates of change of growth and inflation, not only here domestically, but globally as well within the context of the prior week. So with that said, we'll start with the global currency market. Yet the U.S. dollar index having minor counter trend bounce of 0.1% last week as it came off the top end of its respective ranges was signaling medium term overbought as it continues to signal uh, bearish on a 90 day trend duration. On the other side of the, of the dollar, you have the euro versus the U.S. dollar correcting in hand minus 0.2% last week as it continues to signal bullish on a 90 day trend duration. Touching on the Canadian dollar, that was down minus 0.1% versus the U.S. dollar last week, but it's still up 4.8% uh, in the last three months as it continues to signal bullish on a 90-day trend duration. And if you take a look at the British pound versus the U.S. dollar, that corrected minus 0.2% last week, but is up 1.9% uh, just in the last three months alone as it continues to signal bullish on a 90-day trend duration. So on the back of the down dollar, you did have commodities, which continue their inflation higher, uh, breaking out to new cycle highs. As you take a look at the CRB index, that inflated another 2.2% last week. It's now plus 10.2% in the last three months. Uh, breaking that down further in WTI oil, that inflated another 5.0% last week to now plus 11.4% in the last three months as it continues to make new cycle highs as well. And if you take a look at the uh, year to date inflation of oil that's up over around 44% or so. Uh, touching on the agricultural sector in corn and beans, uh, corn inflated another 4% last week, now plus 30.7% in the last three months. Soybeans uh, inflated in hand another 4.6% last week, now plus 16.7% in the last three months. And if you take a look at the soft market in sugar, uh, following the energy complex higher, you have that inflate another 2% last week to now plus 12.8% in the last three months. Uh, touching on U.S. equity volatility, U.S. equities and U.S. equity sector styles, take a look at uh, U.S. equity volatility. Uh, that uh, moved lower to new towards new cycle highs with stocks ramping higher on Friday. Uh, if you take a look at consensus, they continue to lean net short. Take a look at the CFTC positioning in the SPIs, Russell, and the NASDAQ. Um, if you take a look at the U.S. equity sector styles that uh, pushed the SPIs back up to near all-time highs last week, you take a look at energy. Those inflated another 6.8% last week, and then financials moved higher, another 1.3% on the week as well. Uh, touching on global equities and and, uh, and European markets, uh, Euro's equity market. I take a look at the uh, Euro stock 600 that was up 0.8% last week to now plus 9.9% last three months as it continues to register new cycle highs. Take a look at Germany's DAX that was up 1.1% last week to now plus 11.6% in the last three months, also at new cycle highs. Uh, take a look at Europe. What is leading is Italy. Uh, that was up 0.4% last week to now plus 44 just in the last three months alone. Uh, and touching on the emerging markets, uh, they're continuing their inflation higher as well with Brazil's mark, stock market up 3.6% last week to now plus 15.5% last three months. And on the back of higher energy prices, you have Russia's stock market uh, continue to ramp up as well. 2.7% uh, last week to now plus 13.2% in the last three months. Uh, and then lastly, touching on uh, U.S. Uh, yields, uh, you did have on the back of the jobs number, which was not hawkish enough, a counter trend bounce in the 10-year uh, yield um, with consensus um, betting on this week's CPI number, which is set to be released on Thursday, not be as hot as expected. Um, that's on the back of the Fed potentially discussing tapering with uh, Yellen saying she may want, uh, she wants higher inflation and higher rates. Uh, so we may see, just see some back and flow within the range here as we look out to the next catalyst in uh, CPI. So with that, uh, that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions or would like to follow up, please feel free to reach out to me directly. 
Otherwise, thank you for listening and keep your head up out there.